Um, so I've noticed some things different about me since the uh, Fukushima nuclear meltdown. And that is, I, I don't enjoy as much as I used to, or really not at all, um, <clears throat> watching videos about sustainability in the U.S. Um, I still enjoy watching them in um, less populated, uh, more remote places, other than the U.S., that is, because I've realized there are over, well over a hundred nuclear plants in the U.S. They're pretty much in every single state. And what I see is more of the same. So it wouldn't matter how much of your own food you're growing or how much you're, you buy locally. If you have a nuclear meltdown in your state or area, it doesn't do you much good now, does it? So I don't enjoy watching those videos. I think how stupid now. I watch these people talk about, oh, yes, we're growing almost all our own food and our neighbors and this, that. And I think that's so stupid because they're living in the U.S. where there's nuclear power plants, where there's floods, earthquakes, uh, potential blackouts, um, nuclear meltdowns. How can they not see that? Well, maybe it's a good thing because if they all realized it, maybe they would all go to South America and personally I don't want everyone going to South America because that's where I probably will eventually end up going where it's less populated. Um, it's just crazy. It's nuts. I mean I'm sure a lot of people even if they wanted to move they cannot because of their family and jobs and everything but I'm kind of lucky that way that I can pretty much move or live wherever I want pretty much. Um, I'm pretty much mobile. I don't have any ties tying me down anywhere. So I'm seriously thinking about checking out some places in South America. If anybody knows of any um, really good sustainable places and not so close to the ocean though because I'm afraid of tsunamis. But then again I don't want to be too high up because I don't, I don't like living in higher elevations. I'm still thinking nuclear stuff could potentially reach down there as well. So not too high elevation, not too low, just somewhere in between, somewhere where it's always warm, where you can grow all your own food and live in nature and not have to depend on the outside world at all. That's, that's where I want to be. And if something happens there, then at least I've tried and I've done everything that I can do to protect myself because um, I just I don't think like everybody else I think that really I'm not really afraid of I don't believe there's such a thing as is dying or death like I think that our energy just transforms and we don't even maybe don't even know it but I don't want to start a cycle in my life that carries over to the next life. I just, I want to live in a, a harmony with nature, if that makes sense. Um, you know, how we're meant to live as humans and large extended families growing our own food um, and being spiritual. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I'm missing out. I'm missing out on how I'm meant to live. Something's telling me that I'm not living the way I'm meant to live. Because all this pollution follows me. It's like I leave the mainland to get away from the pollution and then, and, and then I get it here. You know, and I leave here and I get it in Australia with chemical fires. Um, you know, and just not being a, not being in control of my environment is what it was. I I couldn't control my environment there, and I don't I don't like that. I don't like breathing chemicals, be it 
you know, outside or outside chemicals or indoor chemicals. I hate it. And I had no control over that there. And, um, you know, I mean, at least with my, in my own place, I do have some control. I, you know, I can get rid of the carpets. I can, you know, use, uh, organic, you know, paints and I have some control, but when you, when you're living in an apartment and you're renting, you have no control over what, what kind of furniture or paints they use and flooring they use. It's just all toxic. And, um, you know, I, I really think that I feel that, you know, everything is connected and how people, um, live and treat their own bodies is really a, a reflection of, you know, the earth uh, or vice versa. It's a ref how people treat the earth, how they pollute it is a reflection on how they pollute their own bodies. And I just don't want to be a part of it. And I know I'm not living sustainably. I, I have to go to the store. I have to go to the farmer's market. I mean, why can't I just walk down my road here and, and uh, trade fruits and vegetables with my neighbors? But the problem is nobody's doing that. I'm pretty much the only person I know of around here that's growing, trying to grow their own food. And it may not even work. I mean... I have stunt, a stunted avocado tree and stunted orange trees and a grapefruit tree that's not really doing very much. And I know it takes several years, but it's just hard. It's not easy. And especially in an environment um, that's not really set up, like you know permaculture, it takes many years to get it going and lots of people working at it. I just, I don't know if I can do this on my own. Um, I might be able to grow a few things, but again, you know, none of my neighbors are doing this. None of them that I can tell. There might be a few banana plants here or there, but I don't see anyone really around here, you know, not for at least five or six miles out towards the main road. There might be a few people with some greenhouses and some places like that, but not very much. And again, I still need transportation out here. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Does anyone know of any really good, um, eco villages, permaculture places, just sustainable communities in, um, in South America? I've been looking at a few, but I don't know. I think probably the really good ones aren't probably going to be on YouTube. Um, they probably won't even have a website, so I don't know how I would find them. Maybe I should just try to, I don't know, um. You know, the thing, I would like to create my own eco-village, but it just takes so long. Years and years. I don't know. I just feel like everything is speeding up and pollution is exponential. Human growth is exponential. And everything is exponential and I can't stand it. It's just everything's happening too fast. On one hand and on the other hand, it's... Like my fruits and vegetables aren't happening fast enough and people around me aren't changing fast enough. It's not, it's, it's like our, our food production isn't going to outgrow our population um, expansion. And that's what I'm afraid of. I'm mostly afraid of not having enough food and not having a clean environment to live in and not having, um, a meaningful existence. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. And I keep thinking I will find, if I keep looking long enough, I will find the right place. Hopefully I can be with my own kind because that's what I want. Take care.